Howdy, howdy, Shoe Devil here, and I just wanted you to do a quick video before the patch notes come out tomorrow for the Warlock and the uh, Prophet, because I just want to prepare any Dwarf fans like myself to be maybe a little bit more, more than a little disappointed. It doesn't look like we're going to get much of anything. I will go over the changes that I could gather to the dwarf army which there's going to be a few lines and that's about it and how i how i came across it i was trying to look at some of this stuff during the tournament on the weekend but it turns out i actually was able to pick this up on aerocrastic's stream he was streaming with falcon and two amazing players and he decided to play the dowi and so i looked and paused about a I don't know, maybe a hundred times or so to try and pick up every single unit where he was pausing and look at the stats on sort of this side compared to the pause. And uh, like I'll show you, so I'll just tab over. This is his uh, stream, uh, Aerocast Cross Extreme. Highly recommend you go and, and subscribe to him if you haven't. He's, he's amazing. Falcon's amazing too, and he streams as well. Um, but anyways, you can see nothing changes here. 4356, 4356, you know, 120, 85, 32, 70, 42, same, same, same. The only thing that has changed are uh, Grombrindle has gotten 50 gold cheaper. And this is one of the things we said. We said we thought the Rune Lord will get more expensive, Grombrindle will get cheaper, and potentially Thorgrim will also get cheaper. And we were hoping our base lord would get cheaper. So this this did not happen. The base lord didn't get any cheaper. Um, Belagar got one gold cheaper, which is really weird. That tells me that maybe he had an ability added in there somewhere that made some of his other abilities cheaper somehow. He's got some small change to him. We'll see what that is. Because if you look, here's in the current game, he's 1562. And the new game, he's 1561. You look at our Rune Lord, he's up by 50. We figured 50, maybe as much as 100 uh, to 150, but 50. And he's up from 1652 base to 1702, 50. And Grom Brindle is down 50 from 1789 here to 1739. Uh, Thorgrim is staying at 2050. And Ungram is staying at 1760. Now, now Ungram has his spots. Just a base. Ungram is unbreakable and he's pretty solid. Grom Brindle coming down 50 will be nice. The Rune Lord going up 50. Uh, you know, that's the only competitive Dowie Lord. We'll see if... Uh, how much that changes 50 gold may not sound like much but it is something no changes from what i can see to the heroes i did look uh he did pick up a runesmith the, not, no changes at all to the runesmith he didn't he most over the thane and no change to the stats or the costs no changes to the costs or stats of any of the other units i could see um when we did our sort of a, our wish list we were hoping that we could see some changes to the thane uh, particularly in his one ability, the uh, Horn of Vengeance. We'll see, that may have changed still. And we're looking for changes to the Master Engineer. No major rehauls here. Everything looks, for the Dowie, it looks like the patch notes for multiplayer are going to be short. And I mean really short. Uh, you know, like probably four lines. You know, maybe there's a few, uh, maybe there's a few abilities that we can't see or that have been altered a little bit. But I wouldn't be... Like, really, it's going to say some change to Belagar, one line. Rune Lord's been increased, but no change to uh, uh, health. Uh, Rune Lord's price has been impre increased, two lines. Grombrindle's price has been decreased, three lines. And then I could not see anything else. I paused over everything. The other changes we we're hoping to see is no changes to the infantry. I think our infantry is good, with the exception of potentially an, uh, an improvement to... Dwarf Warriors, Miners, and Longbeards with Great Weapons in terms of their melee attack, which they really need to be competitive with other armor-piercing infantry. They did not get that buff. You know, I didn't see the Longbeards with Great Weapons, but for sure the Dwarf Warriors with Great Weapons and the Miners are exactly where they were. Same with Grumbling Guard, Hammers, Dragback Slayers, Iron Breakers, Peak Gate Guard, and Norgrimling's Iron Breakers. Uh, and uh, the Eckerd Miners, I saw all those. And if you go over this video too, you might see something that I haven't seen, but uh, it looks like essentially zero changes. And he, you know, I did a chance to go over Rangers, Quarters, Quarters, Great Weapons, uh, Thunders, and uh, tr Trollhammer Torpedoes. They all look exactly the same. 
The other changes we the other change we were hoping for was as always a change to the gyrocopters to make them viable and competitive play. And you know they're still a niche pick. I'm I'm not saying they're they're absolutely worthless. I mean they're they're a niche pick in some matchups for sure. And um, you know, but no changes to them at all. Still same stats, same everything for the. Uh, the base gyrocopter and no changes to the war machines which are good i mean we said maybe the grudge thrower would get a little cheaper by 50 or even 25 or something but no uh did he did mouse over the bolt thrower it is exact same stats everything is exactly the same so uh you know prepare to be disappointed i mean i you know i, I went through and this is sort of um you know every every time you stop somewhere on something you know dragonback slayers i went and actually just pick up my dragonback slayers and then i'd go to go to here and you can see nothing changes at all and i look in here nothing changes at all same health same everything and i did that for every unit that uh aerocrastic picked he did not select every single unit in the lineup uh but he did mouse over quite a few and i may have missed some but it looks like the changes to the Dowie are going to be very minor with really a one gold change to Belagar, a 50 gold increase to the Rune Lord, and a 50 gold reduction to Grom Brindle, the White Dwarf. And potentially we'll see if there's a change to uh, Horn of Vengeance, but it looks like doesn't look promising for any changes in, in the areas that we identified. Really, the areas that I, I really want to see are the Thane, the master engineer a little like a pretty deep cut to our foot lords and uh as i talked about and a change to the gyrocopters but that that's not happening so um uh, i'm always excited about patch notes i will go over every word of every note as i always do on patch notes and uh, i'll prepare myself for the upcoming weekend when I, there's going it's going to be released and uh, i'll try and get in there and do some testing right away on the new units to put them in our top our, our top lists at all in all the categories for the infantry and try and get that up as soon as possible but for all you dwarf lovers out there <laughs> grab another bottle uh, open it up and uh, you know down down a swig or two before you read the patch notes because it's going to be disappointing for multiplayer now could be good for campaign we'll see uh, it looks interesting. The new cities have been added in. I love what they're doing with campaign. I think campaign is getting uh, a lot more interesting, and I do want to play my first modded campaign. Semi-modded, we'll see uh, very soon. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. I've just been very busy lately, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you found that interesting. I will see you when the patch notes come out, and uh, we'll definitely have a, a long chat about those, and looking forward to testing all the units. So I will... See you soon.